Hey, it's Clyde, and today I'm going to show you another AVI DMUX demo. Today we're going to transcode from MPEG-2 to MPEG-4, and at the same time we're going to replace an audio file. Now I'm going to go ahead and open the project that I've already created here. I'm going to use uh, the load run project and find this project called Jennifer and scrub through it a little bit. You can see that um, I've already set the ins and the outs just to do a little piece of it. Now the first thing you may notice if you are accustomed to such things is that the the picture aspect ratio is not 4 by 3. It's stretched out. So um, MPEG 2 720 by 480 does not use square pixels. Uh, this is a non-square pixel format and if we display it with square pixels we get something that's stretched out. So uh, you can see here that the default um, operation for copy um, isn't really what we're going to want to do because we want to re-encode this as an MPEG-4. And I'm going to use the freeware codec that I've already previously downloaded, x.264. And I want to show you that I've already added a filter to resize this to go from 720 by 480, which is not 4 by 3, to 640 by 480, which is 4 by 3. So that should give me square pixels and a 4 by 3 aspect ratio. That's something that you're going to see time and time again on the web, is people who just neglect to pay attention to what the pixel aspect ratio is and maybe they don't even know what it is and they end up using uh, files that are non-square pixels and they display them as square pixels and they get stretched out images so you can be better than that and just pay attention to what your file sizes are in dimensions and what your picture aspect ratio is on the output side. Now let's look at the audio and uh, you see the default operation here is copy. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the AAC codec in this case and that's the codec that Apple uses for the iPod and the iPhone and it's a good podcasting codec. Now if I go under audio and I select main track you can see that the default is it's going to take the audio from the video track. Now there is a MPEG-2 or MPEG Layer 2 audio track married to this video, but I've already gone ahead and pre-processed the audio, so I don't want to use that right now. So I'm going to select as the audio source uh, an external file, and I'm going to go um, look for that, and it uh, can be found here in the shows file and when I saved it I saved it as a wave file that's 44.1 kilohertz mono and the reason I did that is that 44 kilohertz is the de facto standard for YouTube and um, lots of online services so and I saved it as mono because I really didn't have stereo channels. So I'm going to select this file and you can see it pops up here under external file. I'm going to say OK. Now if I go down here to the format box I'm going to want to say MPEG-4. Now I'm going to leave this um, configuration set for the defaults um, in terms of the the 264 uh, encoding and basically I'll say save video and I'll pick a file name that I think I already have test.mpeg4 and um, don't forget you have to give it a file extension because uh, it doesn't want to do it by itself I don't know why if you look it's averaging at uh, 35 and a half frames per second and of course the source file is encoded at 30 frames per second so it's going a little bit faster than real time so my minute and a half segment is going to take about a minute and a half or maybe a little bit less okay so now it's done and uh, I'm going to open up that file and have a look at it here it is test.mpeg4 and if I scrub through it you'll notice that now we have um, 
a 4x3 picture and the quality is um, pretty much indistinguishable from the original in this case and um, what we've done is we've converted in one step from MPEG-2 to MPEG-4 and also we replaced the audio with a WAV file that we pre-processed to eliminate some hiss and to do some compression on it so AVI Mux, nice freeware program powerful so transcoding and uh, allowing us to remarry a new audio track at the same time great piece of software and I think you'll find lots of uses for it